once again, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last filmed, but it was a bit crazy for me over the holidays. So I am very excited because today I am going to be unpackaging my Diva ring light. I bought it on Black Friday, I believe, or Cyber Monday, and I received it and I have not been able to open it or film because I did have family over the holidays and I decided to spend all my time with them and dedicate it to them. So, for today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the light. And I also bought the tripod that comes with it. I got both on sale and I believe I paid $350 for the tripod and for the ring light. And the ring light is the Nebula, I believe, which is the most expensive. So originally it is $3.99 and I believe it was down to $2.99, I think. And the tripod is $99 and it was down to $69.99. Plus I used a promo code that they had. So in total I paid $3.50 for it was a great deal. Excuse my bare face, but I didn't feel like wearing makeup. I wasn't born with makeup, so I shouldn't be ashamed not to be wearing makeup, right? So if you guys wanna know and you guys wanna see the unboxing of this video or the ring light, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the ring light comes in a huge box like this. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't really know what's in here. So this is the front of the box. It's the Nebula ring light. And this is the back of the box. So this is how it comes. It comes with instructions. It comes with the, this right here, whatever it's called. It comes with the mount. It comes this part of the mouse, so it's like two Z two C brackets. So it's only one. But I guess it's it's adjustable. And itching adapter. So if you just buy the ring light, this is all you get. So on the back it has the switch and then this is the on and off and this is how high or low you want it. It does come with a diffusion or diffuse diffusion cloth. Okay. If you have the other lights, like the umbrella lights, I've heard a lot of people can mount them onto that, but don't take my word for it because I don't have or I've never owned any of those lights. So this is what the tripod comes in. Comes with air cushion, which is full of air. Can you see that? Came with not one, but two. Very cushioned. It 
It says Diva Ring Light Video Tripod, maximum height 5 feet and 3 inches, minimum height 2 inches? No. And then it says max low 15 pounds. So this is the tripod. And it comes with instructions. Goes up and down. Should be side to side. It's very sturdy. I have a, a tripod, but it's not as sturdy as this. Comes with the level. Is this supposed to move like this? I'm not really feeling that. I guess if, if you're gonna be moving it, if you're gonna move, be moving it side to side, you can adjust this, turn it around, and there you go. Okay, so like, oh, here it is. This is what I was looking for. So this is to make it even higher. Oh, five three. This is taller than me. From, from what I understood, oh, okay. I get it. So, this here is if you already own a light stand. This is what you can put on the light stand. So you would screw it like this. And then it would stand like this on the lighting stick that you may own. I don't have this, so that is not gonna be useful for me. So you would screw it here. See that? The middle. And your camera would come out through this right here. See that? Does that make sense to you guys? And that's how you're supposed to screw it. So I don't see any screws. I don't think it came with screws. The screws that I've been looking for, and I was about to go to the store and buy some, are actually in this wheel right here. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and screw what comes with a tripod. Okay, so the camera is supposed to go here. Can you guys see that? So when it's on, you're gonna get this little this little green light. And let's turn it on. You guys ready for this? That's on. There, that is in zero. That is in 25. 30. 5. 45. That's 50. That's 75. And that's 100. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to see how I look. So this is my ISO at 400 with no ring light. And I have a window in the front. And I have this back window here. It was kind of in the side back. And then I have all my lights on. So this is what it looks like without it on. And now let me turn it on. This is how it looks with it on. And I have it at 50%, um, I guess, brightness it would be. So let me go ahead and make it a little bit brighter. This is at 100% and it's a little bit harsh. I think I'm too close. So I can definitely back up a little bit. And oh my god, I love this. 
So this is at 100% and my ISO is at 400. Oh, I'm so excited. And it makes your skin look so beautiful. Like I have all this skin and I don't. Oh my god. There are like no shadows in my face. Before, I would have a shadow like on this side of my face because a window would like overpower or would shine this side but not this side. Since I have everything set up now with the ring lights, the tripod and my camera, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my poor little iPhone and show you what the back looks like and how everything looks like when it's already installed. So let me go ahead and add that clip now. Okay, so once you have everything connected, this is how it looks. This is this right here comes with the tripod and this C bracket is what comes with the actual ring light. So um, you do connect it here and this right here so you can adjust the height of your camera just in case you want it higher or you want it lower. And so this is the back of the tripod like I said and let's keep moving on to the video with my final thoughts. So obviously I have not used the ring light for an actual makeup tutorial but just by looking at the difference with the light on and with the light off I can tell a huge amount of difference in the quality and of course the brightness of the actual video. So overall I do give the ring light a two thumbs up and I'm excited to use it. So I hope this video was helpful for all of you guys. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and thank you all for watching. Until next time.